Hello, welcome to Catherine the Paint. Today we are continuing our series with uh, Peacock Colors and it's on this 9x12 canvas. And I am experimenting with some metallics and color shift. So I have the blue in the deco art metallics, the green in the color shift folk art, and another folk art color shift that is a purple. So here they are mixed. I also have an ultramarine blue, Liquitex Basics, turquoise blue, gold, a phthalo green. They're all Liquitex Basics, and my white is Amsterdam white. So I made an aqua color here, the custom color, made out of the Liquitex Basics phthalo green and ultramarine blue. So this is how that turned out. All right, so today I am going to do a flip cup sandwich pour where I have four cups lined up with colors and then you flip them and drive them across the canvas and you do not tilt the canvas um, this way. So you don't tilt it that way. You only tilt it back and forth this way so that it kind of has an even lines across this way. It's not wavy. So I like the look of them. I've done, I've only done two of them before and I really, really love the paintings from them. So I am going to do that in these colors. I'm not going to layer the cups the same. So that way it'll be different on different areas of the painting. So let's get going. I'm going to start with gold on one. Up the aqua first on this one. I'm going to try to use a lot of white because I want it to be lighter than the peacock paint colored paintings I have been doing. So ultramarine blue. Look at that. I dropped it, but it caught it. Caught it. Yay! Can't complain about my life today, huh? Sometimes I forget to add more white. I think I want to add a lot of white on this one, so... Use this green. Uh oh. Maggie's barking. Somebody must be walking by. Yes, seriously. She barks when somebody walks by. <laughs> She's a border collie. Very curious. Hmm. Oh, I need some of the turquoise. Okay. And more of the aqua. Phthalo. More white. I think this is going to be enough paint for sure. Get a little more purple. A little more gold, or we get on the gold. Hmm. All right, I think that will do it.
All right, flipping them over. It's a lot of paint. Mm. Ooh, look at the cells. Woo, this is gonna be so pretty. I guess I should, should I use the <clears throat> torch here, guys? Just making sure the air bubbles are popped. Wow, it's a lot of yellow. I guess that color shift green is making that yellow. Sorry guys, that is the Instapot. I am making vegetable broth. I make my own, which is so expensive and has so much sodium in it. I make with uh, vegetable scraps. I take the vegetable scraps and I freeze them until I have enough to fill up the Instapot, cover it with water. And I'm gonna get this corner over here. And then you have free, basically free, because you're using the scraps from the vegetables that you were cooking. So free vegetable broth for cooking soups and different stuff. So I've been out of broth for a little bit. And winter is coming, so it'll be a lot of soups and stuff. So getting stocked up on that. So that's what's up with the Instabot making noise. <laughs> Back to painting. What do you guys think? I think I love it. That's a lot of purple right here, but I still really like it. I like how there's like strong blue and then strong purple and then turquoise. All right, we'll have to see how this one dries. Um, I'm going to run my finger along the edge to keep it from dripping too much because it will pull the paint off. And I will probably wait 10 minutes and do that again just to make sure that it's not going to continue.